Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of my Plum Paper products. So if you wanna see that um, unboxing where I go through the different products and all the add-ons, you'll wanna watch the first part of this video. If you wanna see how I set up my home management binder and just skip the unboxing, you can go ahead and skip to about the 10 minute mark in this video and you'll see everything's already put together and I go through that process. I'm setting up a binder system, only it's not gonna be on a, in like a traditional three ring binder. It's going to be on discs and it's going to hold all of our home management um, papers. And I saw an idea on Amanda's favorites where she had um, a notebook just for like phone calls. So that notebook could last, you know, a year or her lifetime, but I'm, I'm gonna be implementing that sort of thing in this home management binder. So first I wanted to show you what I got. This is from Plum Paper, and I got the eight and a half by 11 and asked for everything to be punched for discs. Um, I did pick these Happy Planner discs up from Hobby Lobby, and that's what I plan to put all of the papers on. But before I do that, I wanted to show you how the products came from Plum Paper. So these are literally right out of the box. Um, you get a card that talks about how to win a Plum Paper, um, how to care for your planner and spiral notebook, as well as four sheets of stickers, and a sample of their cover paper, which is water resistant, tear proof, and rigid, and I mean, it's not really paper, it's more like a thick laminate, um, but this is what your cover is made out of, so if you wanna try to tear it and destroy it, um, drop water on it, see how it's gonna hold up, you have that sample. And then um, a plum paper card personalized for you, by you, and it talks a little bit about their blog and pattern of the month on the back there. Okay, so I ordered two things. I ordered an eight and a half by 11 notebook and trying to see on my order if it talks about the price. I think it was $18. It's not showing up on my um, profile. So about $18 and what I did was just get the eight and a half 11 notebook and the insides are just lined pages. And I'll be incorporating some of those lined pages in my home organization binder. Then the other thing I bought was the eight and a half by 11 simple monthly. So you get no weekly layouts and the monthly layouts do not have tabs. Um, so I did also pick up these agenda 52 tabs from Hobby Lobby and I figured I would be adding those um, tabs myself. And then I got several add-ons that I think will be um, useful for a home management binder. So let's go ahead and just take a look at those add-ons. So I did get July through August for my months. And then I got the vinyl page protector, to-do list, gratitude pages, prayer, pray, pray, can't talk, prayer pages, a reflection page, wellness, fitness, budget, home, and meal planning. So this is the first home sheet. Get an idea for what that looks like. Straighten these up a little bit. It's kind of hard to flip through these when they're not on a spiral or anything, but once I get them on the disc, they will be. So you have your home service providers. There's room for you to write. Um, like your electric, gas, internet, security, all of that sort of thing. And then you get a seasonal home maintenance, spring, fall, summer, and winter. All of those seasons have an indoor and outdoor space. A master cleaning guide. So you have daily, weekly, monthly, and annually. And then it's broken down into kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, family room, utility spaces, entry or front porch, outside, and other tasks. You also get a laundry guide and a garden sheet. 
And then monthly goals with a space for all 12 months, a home projects page, a gift list, a shopping list, passwords. Oh, I skipped this one. Monthly bills on the back of that. Yearly expense overviews for every month. Meal builder with cooking guidelines and conversions, as well as substitutions, a shopping list on the back. And then I did get the meal planning add-on. So the back has shopping lists and the other side, the front side has your Monday through Sunday with the week numbers and you get several pages of those. And then you have a grocery stores and markets where you can list where they're at, their phone number, the website, and what you like to grab while you're there. A takeout and restaurant family favorites. Annual grocery spending tracker. Bank account information. Your yearly cash flow. And then I did do the budget add-on, so that looks like you get this side that has your uh, monthly income, checking, savings, debt, savings goal, budget goals, notes, um, periodic and fixed expenses. And then on the front of that, you have your date expense and this that you can use for like a checkbook register. So you get several of those with a budget add-on. And then you have a My Bills so you can check off each month that they're paid. And then I also got the fitness add-on. So, um, you know, you can have your target date, start date, end date, all your weight, your BMI, your weight overview, your measurements, an affirmation statement, long-term and short-term goals. So that'll be nice to use. And then on the back of that, you have where you can log your vitamin sleep steps, exercise, and water for each day in the month. And so my plan is um, to not carry all of this with me. I'm gonna put all of this on big, huge discs and then carry only the current month with me on these smaller discs. So that will be really portable. Um, otherwise this would be super heavy because when I took it out of the box, just holding everything was, it's a lot. Um, reflection. This year's vision in three words, your values, um, room for your goals, career, family, health, financial, and personal. And then you go down into the month for goals and reflection, um, how you succeeded, how you can improve, steps to reach your improvement. And then on the back, you kind of rank yourself here in these areas. And so you have enough pages to do that um, every month as well. And I also got the gratitude pages. So you have blank boxes over here. You're grateful because, and I will keep one of those going for each month as well. And then the prayer pages, you have scripture and reflection, praise and gratitude, answered prayers, scripture and reflection, who you're praying for, um, another section. So you could use you know, a couple of these a month. And with the eight and a half by 11 size, you'll have plenty of room. And then on the back, same sort of thing. And then I got the to-do list add-on. So they're literally just to-do pages and several sheets of lined paper and some dot grid, contact, passwords. And then this is what I thought was really cool. You get all of those tabs that you would get if it was on a coil, only they're ready and punched. So you can see which add-ons I got. Reflection, gratitude, budget, fitness, meals, and home. Notes, to-do, and prayer. You do still get the big pocket and you can put that on your discs. I ordered one sheet protector and then your covers come and the little thing that protects the cover. It's like a clear acetate. So all of those are punched and ready to put on discs. So what I'm gonna do now is break this up, put the bulk of these with my notebook onto 
big discs and then show you what that individual monthly book will look like. Okay, now that I have shown you how the things come straight out of the box, um, let's take a look at how I'm gonna set up the actual home management album, binder, discs, whatever you wanna call it, planner. Um, so I put the bulk of everything on these large rings. These are big rings from Staples and they're metal, so they're really heavy duty. And I took everything except for the tabbed pages and I put the notebook on here as well as all of the extra add-ons. And then I took just one of each add-on for the month. So I took one of the prayers, one of the monthly budgets, one of the fitness, and so on, and put it into this one on smaller discs that I showed you earlier so that this one can go with me everywhere. So basically, in this home binder system, um, this will go out and about with me. It'll stay in my work bag. If I have papers or receipts, um, school papers or anything that come to me that I don't have time to write down or move to the correct section, I'm gonna put it in this um, pocket folder. And then when I get home, I can move out where it needs to go. This is just a little extra decoration. I'll show you. I got these sheet protectors. They're by the Happy Planner. I picked them up at Hobby Lobby. And then I just added a dashboard from Coco Daisy just because I thought it was pretty. So the first section is notes. And I have um, just a bunch of note paper, but let's go ahead and flip through. So I did take the 2021, 2022 calendar from the planner and put it in here, as well as these monthly boxes and the blank boxes. And then I took um, a bulk of the note paper from my notebook and put it in here. So let's talk about how this is going to be used. This is the idea I saw on Amanda's favorites. So let's say I have problems with my air conditioning unit and I call. I'm gonna write the date, who I spoke to, and any notes. Um, and I'll do that, you know, for everything that's related to my home management. And then they can stay in here and if I ever need to go back and reference them, they'll be right here all in one spot and I can keep this indefinitely. Um, so this will last a long time. The next section is to do. I did put all of my to-do add-ons on here so I can just keep a running to-do list. I do have a prayer section, so just a couple sheets of that from that add-on in here. I really like this for monthly goal setting. This is the reflection page. So I already showed this to you in the unboxing part of the video, but I do wanna utilize this each month. So I have only one month's in here and then you know at the end of the month I'll probably keep this in here depends on how um, full these discs get if they get too full then I can start moving things back to that other binder that has the blank pages um, but I'm gonna use this to set up some goals and um, reflect on my life each month and then I do have this one in here because at the end of the month you can transfer that stuff to this yearly overview which I think will be very helpful I have several of the gratitude, actually just one, one gratitude page in here for now. If I need more, obviously I can do that. And then the large chunk of this is budget, so you can see. Um, so I have the, the budget page here that has the variable expenses, monthly assessment, and then the yearly checkoff. So you write the bill, the amount, when it's due, and you can check it off each month. Um, I really don't need this page for debt tracker, but I'm going to keep it in here because um, I need the front of that sheet. Bank account information. And then every month you can move over again, like the reflection part, you move over at the end of the month, everything onto this yearly overview. So at the end of the year, you'll have all of your income, all of your expenses, giving, savings, and debt. And then we have a shopping list, monthly bills, passwords, 
Um, since I got the home add-on and the budget, I have two of these. And then important contacts and a gift list, which I wanted to start now for Christmas and a shopping list. And then I have all 12 months of my monthly in here. And I had planned on using these bill pay stickers that I've had from Planner Kate that I used to use in a different budget calendar. Um, but basically, you know, you can color code. So um, grocery needs you might put on blue, income you might put on yellow, and so forth. So I have those four sheets from Planner Kate to use, and I'm gonna use the monthly overview for bills. And then I wanted a place to have my checkbook register right here with my budgeting pages. So I picked up these Agenda 52 inserts and I didn't even notice, it looks like they're punched for rings, but I can use my punch and I'm gonna put this in the middle of my monthly. So this is also a good time to talk about the best punch. The one that I found from researching in the community that works best is this Arc Punch from Staples. So I'm just gonna punch these. Since they're made for ring inserts with the holes, I'm gonna use this punch here and have it backwards. Oh, wow. I'm gonna punch this and then I'll show you how they pop right into the discs. I like that these are smaller pages, not a full eight and a half by 11 like the rest of my home management binder. So now I can have my um, checkbook register right here in the middle of that. And I'll just be using the front side that says expenses as a checkbook register. And so I'll, I think that I will like having my whole monthly budget on the monthly pages and my checkbook register right here in the middle. All right, next section is fitness. So you can see you have your date goals here, your weights, your BMI, long-term and short-term goals, your monthly overview, and then um, this monthly overview that's a little bit different. So I do like here that it has room to track everything fitness related, vitamin, sleep, steps, exercise, and water, and you can set your goals. And then at the end of the month, um, kind of reflect on how you did. The next section is meals. So I took that takeout favorites and the annual grocery spending tracker, the meal builder, and the conversion, the substitutions, and then you go into the meal planning pages. So um, you have Monday through Sunday, several weeks, you turn the page and on the back is the shopping list. So what I'll probably do is use this shopping list for this week's worth of meal planning. That way they're open across from each other instead of having to flip back and forth. So I have a couple of those in here. And of course, once they fill up, I can add more just by taking those pages out of my other binder. Then we have my home. So I did leave my contacts page in here, passwords, home service providers, home maintenance, the master cleaning, the laundry guide, the garden, um, family favorites, broken down by types of food, appetizers, entrees, and desserts, home projects. I'm probably gonna be utilizing this page very heavily. And then since this is on the back, I have to leave it in here. It's another gift list. So that is how the plum paper um, fits on this kind of on the go system. However, that is just the beginning. So I think what I'm going to do now is take all of these important papers that I have that have never really had a home. So I have my birthday sheet that I reference from an old planner. Um, Bible verses, I mark them off as my son memorizes them. I'm in a sorority, so I get minutes and um, treasurer's reports, um, school papers, school schedules, all of that sort of thing are going to be moved into this binder as well. So basically anything that's relating to my home management will go in here. I hope I'm explaining that well. Um, 
I don't know if you're like me, but right now I get papers like this and I don't really have a place to sort them and then I wish they were all in one place and then I wish I could take them with me when I'm going to my meetings. So I think this will be helpful to have everything all in one place and since I'm only carrying uh, my important papers and like the current month and the bulk of everything else, the blank pages can stay at home on this and I can move them over when I need them. Um, I'm hoping this system works um, well for me and if you're interested in seeing an update after a month or so um, I can definitely do that too. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions about anything, if I skipped over something or went too fast, let me know. I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and happy planning.